What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. So today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the undrafted free agents that the Colts have signed at the end of the 2022 NFL Draft. Um, now, by the time I'm recording this uh, to the time that I'm actually putting it up, there might be one or two more guys that might get added. If so, I might make another video to add to it. But the Colts have pretty much like basically signed about 13 to 14 guys right now. So, you know, there's a lot of guys that are uh, signed at the moment that I'm recording this. Like I said, maybe a couple more get uh, picked up over the next 12 hours before this video goes up. But again, guys, a lot of these players, again, these are the players that did not get drafted. We're not fortunate enough to get a uh, call on, uh, on any of these days, but they're getting a call right after to become uh, basically undrafted free agents. And the Colts have signed a lot of guys already. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and hop into a few of them. Uh, I'm not going to be, I don't know a lot about a lot of these players, but I do know a few of their names and we'll kind of go with it as we go. All right. Uh, so first one, uh, Aaron Wilson, Stated per league source, Oregon State running back CJ Verdell is being signed with the Colts. Uh, I know a couple of Oregon fans and a couple of those guys said he's pretty legit. Uh, so again, adding running backs. And this is not the only running back that the Colts have uh, signed in uh, as an undrafted free agent. There's a couple more of these, actually. Uh, the next one was uh, cornerback Dallas Flowers. Uh, that's an interesting one. So there's another cornerback that they needed. Uh, we figured they'd kind of wait till the end to get a cornerback because they really didn't go cornerback specifically in the draft. They kept getting safeties. Uh, and then Tulsa defensive end uh, Colin Wick signed as an undrafted free agent per source. That's from Eric Oldham. Oldholm. Uh, and also uh, Shane Hallam was the one that announced the Dallas Flowers pick. Uh, Villanova football actually put out that... Uh, that basically uh, Forrest Ryan, a defensive end from Villanova, is signing with Indianapolis. I think he was actually the first undrafted free agent to sign with Indianapolis. Uh, I think it was a sheer ten minutes after the ten minutes after the draft had actually uh, commenced or had finished. So, you know, it was pretty crazy that that was that quick. Uh, UConn offensive tackle Ryan Van Demark, uh, and this was announced by Tom Pelissero, uh, on a deal that includes 175000 fully guaranteed for his agents. Uh, now, this is crazy because most guys that are undrafted free agents do not get money like this. So it it gives you it gives you a kind of an indication that the Colts are really wanting to make sure that Ryan Vandemark is, is stays with them because they're paying him almost 200 grand and fully guaranteed money, fully guaranteed. I mean, again, like I said, undrafted free agents, not a lot of them get paid like that right off the bat when normally you're getting like more of the short minimums. And so the Colts coming out right away and saying they're going to fully guarantee this guy a couple hundred grand. Uh, it, it really means something it means that they De uh, value this guy a little bit more than some others. So, I mean, very interesting uh, pickup there. Nevertheless, uh, Stephen Holder announced uh, wide receiver Samson Nequea of BYU uh, is signing with the Colts. Uh, competitive wide receiver room in 2022. Yeah, I mean, again, when you look at all the options the Colts have, again, regardless of what you feel about them, uh, I mean, Michael Pittman, Alec Pierce, Paris Campbell, Ashton Doolin, Michael Strawn, Desmond Patman, uh, Samson Nequoia. You know, I, I, there's that's seven. That's seven. And I'm, I think there's another receiver or two in here. And I'm sure there's probably one that I'm that I'm forgetting. You know, do they add T.Y. Hilton back? There's a lot of options for the Colts at wide receiver at this point. Uh, Washington running back Max Borgie. Uh, this was announced by Joel Erickson uh, Kyle that announced that Kyle Newman of the Denver post uh, was first on this news that Washington state running back Max Borgie is signing with the Colts. So again, like I told you another running back that the Colts are looking to get 
I, I think that they're probably looking for some of these guys probably for uh free agent per or for uh special team purposes. Makes a lot of sense. They do this a lot, but you know, again, Deion Jackson, you know, he's 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 a great uh he's a great player, but you know, he is the third running back. Do the Colts try to get a fourth running back? Do they try to find somebody better than Deion Jackson? You know, so you gotta find out there. Uh per source from Joel Erickson. Uh, he confirms that Kikoka, uh, Kikoa Crawford, uh, wide receiver out of California, going to the Colts. So there you go. Second wide receiver taken. Uh, again, just massive competition there. Uh, Florida international running back Devonte Price uh, to the Colts on an undrafted deal per uh, Drew Rosenhaus and Sean O'Dare. Uh, that's from Aaron Wilson as well. Florida international running back. A lot of people were really high on this pick. Uh, a lot of people had a lot of great things to say about Devonte price. Uh, be very interesting to see if he sticks around. So there's, there's three running backs, three running backs, not hundred percent sure what they're going to do with all of them, but they're, they're they got some, they got some competition to fill out the, end, uh, last bit of that roster. Uh, so the Colts also, uh, signed, uh, Cincinnati wide receiver Michael Young Jr., teammate of Alec Pierce. Apparently, when Alec Pierce was in his private workouts uh, with Indianapolis, Michael Young was also one of those guys. So, very interesting to see that. Uh, Nebraska linebacker JoJo Doman. Uh, this was actually, per source, was reported by Will Compton. Uh, fellow black shirt Jojo Deman is a, is signing with the Indianapolis Colts. Now the crazy part is is uh, Deman actually was like a massively underappreciated pick because there were people saying this guy should have been drafted in like the third or late third, early fourth. Uh, I know ESPN's overall ranking had him in like the early one hundreds, and the fact that this guy is you know, not is, you know, basically he's a linebacker too. So it's very interesting that he fell all the way down to being an undrafted free agent. And the Colts were like, all right, we'll see what he got. And the one that was really funny, Tom Pelissero reported uh, former Notre Dame quarterback, Jack Cohen is signing with the Colts. Now this has got uh, Matt just at, from inside the horseshoe podcast, just absolutely spewing over this because he loves Jack Cohen, obviously played with Notre Dame. Uh, and he was bugging me about what, what, what would you say if the Colts ended up drafting him? So again, they didn't draft him. They signed him as an undrafted free agent, but nevertheless, uh, more competition there. Uh, Zach Hicks uh, reported per source that Miami of Ohio safety Sterling Weatherford to in, uh, to Indy said that's his dude. Uh, I'll be honest, guys. I mean, again, they are loaded at the safety position. They have eight safeties on the roster right now. Eight. Now, again, of course, not all of those guys are going to play and not all of those guys are going to remain signed. But... Th- I think, yeah, to pull a a plug out of Zach Hicks's uh, book here that he said several times, uh, Ballard's making sure that an Andrew Sandejo situation never happens again. Never. So they are making sure they are loaded at the corner and safety positions. Uh, Wisconsin offensive lineman Josh Seltzner uh, is signing. He's saying thank you for the opportunity. He's the one that reported that. And also Marshall Offensive lineman Alex Millette is also there as well. So, like I said, guys, those are some of the guys that have signed with the Colts already. Like I said, from the many hours that it'll take from when I recorded this to when it goes live, uh, it might there might be some changes. Uh, and if there are, I'll be sure to add some later on if I can. But just wanted to let you guys know that. Wanted to give you guys the update on who's available. Uh from during that time frame. Thank you guys again so much for the continued support. Greatly appreciate all of you taking the time to watch all of our draft content, our live streams, our videos, things of that nature. Uh, And thank you again for liking, commenting in the streams and the videos, subscribing. We greatly appreciate the support. Uh, Don't worry. We will be having more giveaways, more Jersey giveaways here very shortly. Uh, 
I'm thinking of getting some more from uh, Yannick Ngakwe and Stefan Gilmore. Now that we know what Stefan Gilmore's official number is, um, we can try to give that out and we'll uh, see on the Yannick Ngakwe when we find out what his number is. But thank you guys again so much for the continued support. Greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, go Colts.